Hey guys, we're here with Ken Armstrong from Moroboros. He's going to explain his filtration system to us. Awesome. Well, check it out. Uh, here we have our swirl filters and our brush filters here for each one of our 30,000 gallon systems. Uh, the first um, filter that we get is our swirl filter. Uh, now I know a lot of you know that radio flow clarifiers are a little bit more efficient at removing solids out of a system, uh, but due to design uh, characteristics and availability of resources, when we first designed our system to initially use a, a radio flow clarifier, um, these tubs were a little bit too small for the flow rate we have. So there's too much flow rate coming out of the radio flow clarifier and instead of acting as a stilling well and allowing all those solids precipitated out of the bottom, it was actually creating a fairly significant downdraft and actually kicking up solid waste off the bottom. So, so that didn't work, so we had to switch over to a swirl filter. Uh, so we have two 1,200 gallon fish tanks that come in this way. Water comes in here at angles and gives a nice, good, strong circular flow. Get that centrifugal force to force the solids out to the side and then eventually to the bottom of this tank. Um, each of these are a 275 gallon, 45 degree cone bottom tank. Um, and we'll clean these out once a week. We found that with our system, about once a week is the maintenance we need to perform on these. And we've let them go a couple weeks before. It's usually, we're not, we're running low fish density, so we're not building up huge amounts of fish waste in these type of systems. Um, from here, the water takes two tracks. One track here eventually goes to our meaty beds, or at least a few of the meaty beds here, where we have some of our longer term crops. Here we've got some uh, garlic, some sage, some uh, valerian root, rosemary, kales, um, and a variety of other things. Um, uh, Mexican sour gherkins and chard and all sorts of things. Uh, where we get a little bit of extra mineralization in our system. We're finding that our, our feed rates are much lower than what the, the UVI numbers are. Uh, we're feeding about 8 to 10 grams of food per square meter of gross space. And what, that's the, we think part of that is the, uh, min, the media beds giving us all that extra mineralization. Uh, the water also then takes a second track. Um, do you see there's a little bit of a guard here in the middle? We're trying to prevent as much solid waste from going this way as possible. This goes to our second level of filtration, which is a brush filter. Um, and we have a series of koi brushes or aquaculture brushes here um, that are interlaced. Uh, they're made out of uh, nylon, so we get a little bit of electrostatic charge. They're really good at capturing the small fish waste. This is good at getting the small stuff, whereas the big swirl filters get good at digging, getting the big stuff. If you notice, when you look at those brushes, the brushes are very clean. It doesn't seem like there's much fish waste. Um, no, no, we have not cleaned these brushes recently. Um, one of the great things about aquaponic systems is just incorporating living ecosystems in these. Um, and we have uh, gamma shrimp and scud, also known as scuds, that are inhabiting our brush filters. And they're going through and um, remineralizing again that fish waste and breaking it down uh, and keeping our filters clean. So it's either actually doing all that good hard work uh, of our keeping our filters nice and clean. And then finally it comes into a degassing tank. Uh, because we have that still water and fish waste, and so on our fish waste, we do build up certain gases in the column, hydrogen sulfide, methane, carbon dioxide, and atmospheric nitrogen, which we do want to off-gas out of the system. Uh, so here we do have a few air stones in here to off-gas this. Um, this is also a central location where the two streams from the four fish tanks come together and eventually head down to the deep water culture system. So we want to filter it out as much of the solid waste as possible uh, before it heads out down to the deep water culture to reduce our, our maintenance, uh, maintenance costs and our maintenance requirements for our system. So that's our Ouroboros Farms filtration system. Thanks a lot. Yeah, well, Check pleasure. them out at OuroborosFarms.com. Thanks for joining us.